हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेन डू यू थिंक यू यूज योर डेबिट कार्ड या कैश टू बाय अ बिग टिकेट आइटम लाइक मोबाइल और अ लैपटॉप यू वोंट रिमेंबर बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ अस हु आर बाइंग दिस बिग टिकेट आइटम्स हैव बीन यूजिंग द क्रेडिट कार्ड्स टू दी हिल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन्स वन इजी अवेलेबिलिटी सेकेंड लो कॉस्ट और नो ई एम आई बट देन दिस हैज worried the rbi and rbi has taken action on 16 november which meant that it tightened the capital norms for unsecured retail loans now the question is what are unsecured retail loans basically these are credit cards and the personal loans it increased the weightage of against these per, uh, unsecured loans for nbfcs from 100% to 125% and for banks from 125% to 150% what did it mean for the banks and the nbfcs earlier the banks were required to set aside rupees 8 for every rupees 100 lent against unsecured loans now bank needs to set aside rupees 10 that is clear cut 25% increase in the capital they need to set aside this will lead to choking of the capital Which is available to lend, as well as increase the cost of the funds. This we can see with the help of a chart. On 16 November 23, the RBI tightened the capital norms, which is expected to lead NBFCs borrowing cost being increased, and these are going to pass on finally to whom? To you and me, we the customers. Now, what? was the reasons for doing this before we see that let's see how the credit cards have been doing from january to september 2023 as you can see in the slide the figure of credit cards held on 31st january 2023 was 82.4 million they have increased to 94.7 million as on 30th september on credit cards as on 30th january the 2023 1.27 trillion rupees were spent on credit card but as of 30th september 2023 approximately 1.78 trillion rupees worth of spend had taken place on credit card and our favorite diwali was there in november for which many of us shopped in october so what was the status in october in the month of october the increase was 25.4% month on month we saw the figure for september now the increase is from month and month however this increase goes further on when we look at year and year to 38.3% and the amount has increased to rupees 1.8 lakh crore rupees which is highest in last 9 months the spends per card have increased month on month 26.2% year on year 16% and the actual average figure spent on each card is rupees 18898 say 19000 rupees which is highest in these two years gone up by 39% year on year the value of the transaction has increased 55% and the number of cards in force has increased month on month 1.8% however when we look at year on year it is 19.3% increase and total of 9.47 crore cards are active in india but then the question arises is why such a huge increase has happened in the uses the first and the foremost reason is easy availability of the cards because in india there are large number of nbfcs and banks which are issuing now credit cards so each one is wanting to give you one card many of us have more than one many have even 5 6 7 cards and they rotate the money on these cards that's a separate case then there is a change of mind change among youth on use of cash and credit card or debit card the youth has become more americanized where you buy now and pay later the older generation or the baby boomers first is to save the money and then buy an item today we first buy the item and then pay the money also 
the increased use of plastic money after demonetization and covid has led to the better utilization of credit cards easy and increased availability of on online markets and various schemes today tier 2 and tier 3 cities and even villages are seeing buying online the better penetration of internet 5g and mobile network across india has led to such an increase also because the competition is huge each nbfc or a bank is offering you low cost or no cost emi option on your purchases also few months back rbi decided to get rupee card on upi hence there is going to be a further increase in this matter but then is the use bad no there are certain positive side of the increase uses first and the foremost is reduced use of cash in day to day transactions it also helps in formalizing economy the increased sales lead to growth in economy increased job increased tax collection because everything is being formalized the gst is collected in huge amount that we have been already seeing it also there is a better credit offtake as number of people roll over the uh, money or take a emi option banks and nbfcs which also the more credit means more interest and hence improved in income for the banks and nbfcs which is being reflected in their recent quarterly results also the individuals are benefiting as their needs are fulfilled immediately or promptly as we said earlier the methodology has changed from save and buy to buy and pay but then why is rbi worried there is a growing number of defaults in sub 50000 rupees category which is generally the middle class or the lower middle class total outstandings against credit cards have touched rupees 2 lakh 17203 crore as of 30th september as against rupees 1 lakh 32054 crores the same uh, year two years back that is i will say again total outstanding again the credit cards has touched rupees 2 lakh 17203 crore as of 30th september 2023 it was rupees 1 lakh 32054 crore as of 30th september 21 thus an increase of 64% the october sales have already touched rupees 1.8 lakh crores and these figures are expected to grow in the balance month of the year as recently diwali is gone by cricket world cup has gone by the recent black friday sales have taken place and upcoming marriages in the upcoming months hence the expenditure on credit card is likely to zoom this can cause a major problem if any untoward event like covid or a economic downturn were to take place hence the rbi is worried but are the credit cards emerging as an economic threat to tell you very frankly the share of credit cards in overall unsecured loans is still very small however increase uses demands caution the rbi step is a prudent risk management step which has been applauded by various economists as of now i can say that increased card uses doesn't emerge as an economic threat however as the number of individuals who are using the credit cards has gone up i would like to advise some precautions for the individuals remember credit card is an unsecured personal loan i buy today after 40 days 50 days whatever is the balance period i have to pay it's a loan and if i default or if someone to default the rate of interest can be as high as 36 to 48% per annum such defaults can adversely affect your civil score which will make it difficult to get loans in future at better terms so i would say buy only the essentials and within one's capability to pay back also it will be prudent to avoid rotating the debt that was all for today if you are still not subscribed to our channel do subscribe share and like that's all for now